there. Now, I'm just after picking up a Leisler bat there. There, there, look, a Leisler. Did you see the Leisler? No, yeah, yeah. we had one here, yeah. <laughs> I should have showed it over to you. <laughs> it is, yeah, yeah, you'll get over no problem. You'll get over here no problem. The Lysler is the big bat, yeah. He's the one that uh, you can often see them out even before sunset. And I've seen them flying around and they're still swifts and swallows flying around. The Lysler tends to prefer more open areas. It's the one that you'll see flying out over things like um, in parks, over playing fields and that as well. And they fly quite high as well. They can be up to 60, 70, 80 metres off the ground. Depends on what the numbers of insects in the air are like. And that's often down to how warm of, a, of an evening it is. Bit bright. I wonder could we go I wonder is it possible to go down here a little bit just take I'm just kind of thinking of these lights here yeah now when it gets darker that probably wouldn't be too much of a, an issue but just for the time being um, I think this is fairly so you'd, you'd want to watch the watch the nails <laughs> sometimes I do get a uh, fierce funny looks when I'm out on my own like this at night <laughs> right. uh, snooping and creeping around parks and that as well like you know you know like, what, what's he up to like you know <laughs> This would be good now. This would be a good uh, spot for bats because you've got trees, you've got good hedgerows along there as well, and you've got the river. And of course, the river will attract lots of flying insects. And bats being insectivores, all bat species in Ireland eat insects. And, uh, you know, that would be uh, attracting them as well. The light, the, it's certainly getting to the stage now where we should start picking up um, a few pips. There's a bat there just after flying. Just fly just flew by there, so when I just turn this. There we go. There, yeah. And that there, yeah, that was a that was a definitely a common pipistrel there. I think there's possibly two bats, uh, two bats here at the moment. Two pipistrels a common and a soprano pipistrelle. Did you mention the fourth bat? Yeah, the Daubentons, yeah, sometimes kind of known as the, as the water bat. <laughs> the thing about Daubentons as well is they, they're out of all the bats that we have in Ireland, they're the ones that really, really like the darkness. So they're often the last to emerge on a night. They'll wait until it's you know maximum darkness before they they venture out. There's something else there, just very faint. There we go. 